Back over to the women's division, rotation number two. And Kim Zemesco, our all-around champion, where she had most of her problems on the uneven bars. Many people say that this is Kim's weakest event, but it's weak relative to her other events. When you're capable of a 10, as Kim is in the other three, a 9.7 or so seems low. This is where she had a little problem in the all-around competition. Well done. She works right out of it. That was beautiful. She still has another release and a big dismount. Reverse heck. Beautiful. And preparing for a dismount. Watch how high she goes on this dismount. A layout, double pike. And another great landing. That's typical Kim Zemesco. When I asked Kim about goals down the road, Twinkle came in her eye and she started talking about Barcelona in 92. And she's definitely a shining hope for U.S. gymnastics in that direction. This is one event where Kim Zemesco is going to have to put in long and hard hours and make a lot of improvement. This is a skill that sometimes gives her some trouble for Jaeger front, and that's how it's supposed to be done. She's been very inconsistent in big competitions on that element. On the other hand, she is very strong in the area of the dismount. She has a beautiful layout, double pike, and a tremendous landing. She goes so high in the air, it's hard to do it much better than this. So a big improvement for Kim Zemeskel after a shaky start in the vault. She comes on strong on the uneven bars, and let's see what the judges say for Zemeskel. It'll be a 9.812, and she is now tied for the lead with Christy Hedges.